Cruise news. A cruise passenger has been ravaged by bed bugs and a new outbreak has been declared at a popular cruise port. I'm going to get you the top 10 cruise news updates from across the cruise industry and I'm going to get you the news fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick this off with number one, a Carnival cruiser has been banned for life. This Texas woman was attempting to board the Carnival Horizon cruise ship in Miami, Florida. However, these CBD gummies were found in her carry-on bag. She was pulled aside and questioned. The woman said that she brought them along with her to help her sleep. The gummy she had in her back contained less than 0.01% of THC, but Carnival noted that any amount is against their rules. She is now banned from cruising with Carnival for life, and any future attempt to book a cruise with them will be canceled. Number two, Royal Caribbean has suspended their Blue Lagoon Island excursions in Nassau, Bahamas. This is after a shuttle boat capsized earlier this week, resulting in the death of one cruise passenger. In a letter to book guests, the cruise line said, We're currently working with authorities to evaluate a boat incident that took place during a shore excursion. In light of this incident, we have decided to cancel all Blue Lagoon tours through November 23rd, including your Blue Lagoon Island Deluxe Beach break. There is currently no word on whether other cruise lines are taking the same action. Moving on to number three, Virgin Voyages founder Richard Branson just gave away 150 free cruises. He called in via FaceTime to a Virgin Australia flight from Melbourne, Australia. This of course was part of a brilliant marketing ploy. Virgin Voyages resilient lady cruise ship will begin sailing from Australia on December 11th. And this action has helped to get the word out across the country. Next, number four, Turks and Caicos has declared a dengue outbreak. Turks and Caicos is located just north of the Dominican Republic, and Grand Turk is a very popular cruise destination. The island of Jamaica also reported a dengue outbreak more than a month ago. The key thing to know about dengue is that it is a virus that is spread by mosquito bites. So the key thing is to just be aware, which is why I am sharing this news report, and then you need to take appropriate precautions. The CDC recommends taking steps to avoid mosquito bites. This is generally done via insect repellent or other natural means. Then number five, Royal Caribbean will be launching their fanciest dining option yet on their new Icon of the Seas cruise ship. It is called the Empire Supper Club and it just opened for booking. The cost is $200 per person. It is $130 if you have the unlimited dining package. There will be a live jazz band and an eight course meal. And table sizes are limited to two to four guests. So if you have a larger group, you'll be seated at separate tables. The cruise line is stressing the importance of being on time if you book this experience. And also know that this meal will last between two to three hours. This is being touted as the most elegant dining experience that Royal Caribbean has ever had. And with that, know that formal wear is required. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day. But quick question, chime in down below. Speaking of specialty dining, here's the question. Do you typically eat at specialty dining on your cruise? Chime in down below with A for yes or B for no. Would love to know any insights that you have. Also, what is your favorite specialty dining restaurant on a cruise? Would love to hear that. But now, on with the cruise news. Number six, Carnival Cruise Line's new ship, the Carnival Jubilee, will be the first ship in North America to have 5G connectivity. This will allow passengers to have 5G mobile phone service. While the Carnival Jubilee will launch in December, the 5G capability will not be enabled until early in 2024. Cruise passengers can use their connectivity through service plans provided by their wireless carriers. Carnival Cruise Line plans to expand this capability across other ships in their fleet also. No timeline for that deployment has been released as of yet. Next, number seven, the Life at Sea three-year world cruise has been delayed again, and it really seems like this cruise could be in trouble. It was initially scheduled to launch on November 1st, then November 11th, and now November 30th. During this time, they were seeking to close on the purchase of the Ida Ara cruise ship. That was the vessel initially pegged for this cruise. 
But today, Celestial Cruises has announced that they have purchased the Aida R cruise ship and it will now be called the Celestial Discovery. Also keep in mind that Life at Sea Cruises is seeking to sell cruises that have a down payment of around $100,000. Yet when you go to their website and scroll down, they are still offering a giveaway that dates back to September. And the inaugural sailing is still listed as November 1st. So maybe they have something in the works. I hope that they do, but right now it's just not a good look. Moving on to number eight, Carnival Cruise Line has made a big change to a popular shareholder perk. If you own 100 shares of Carnival stock, you are able to receive $100 of onboard credit per stateroom. Previously, you secured your $100 of onboard credit through an email process, but Carnival Cruise Line has announced that you can no longer do that. Carnival has now moved to using an app called Stock Perks, and it is through that app that you can now confirm your Carnival stock ownership. If you want more information on how to use that app, I will put a link to another YouTube video down in the video description. Next, number nine, I want to give you a quick hurricane season update. The only weather system of concern right now is in the Atlantic. That weather system is identified by the orange X on this map. This weather system currently has max sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. It is near Jamaica right now and it is moving to the northeast. Forecasters are giving the storm a 40% chance of cyclone formation over the weekend. Stay tuned for updates. Then, number 10, a 40-year-old woman was scarred and disgusted after being, quote, ravaged by bed bug bites on a cruise ship. This occurred on P&O's Pacific Explorer cruise ship. And this is not to be confused with the beetle infestation that was reported on P&O's Pacific Encounter cruise ship last week. The woman's husband did find some bugs in their cabin. But she said that they did not realize at the time that they were bed bugs, so they did not report them. She noticed the first few bites a few days before the end of the cruise. By the time she arrived home, the woman said the painful and itchy welts were throughout her body. She said she did reach out to the cruise line to let them know so they could address the bug issue. Pinot Cruises did not confirm that the ship had bed bugs. However, they did give the woman $800 as an act of goodwill. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.